Hello everyone. Sorry that we're not posting for a long while. And also sorry for this not being any of my more usual content. I just don't really know what to post on my YouTube channel anymore. So hopefully this guy, this little guide thing will keep you entertained for at least a, f for a little while. And also, um, just help me figure things out or something, I don't know. But, um, anyways, Slitherwing is a paradox Pokemon that can only be found in Pokemon Scarlet. You can find a Volcarona paradox Pokemon in Violet, but that's Iron Moss. We're talking about Slitherwing. Now... For this, you're going to need to make sure that you have beaten the Pokemon post-game stuff, or Scarlet. And, because all of the Paradox Pokemon can only be found in Area Zero after you've beaten the main game. And for the Herba Mysticas here, that as you can see, are also only available through the Terror Raids during the post-game. Now, for the Urban Mystic stuff, you don't need two of the same one for it to work. You can also just simply mix, like, one sour and one bitter, or one spicy and one salty. You just cannot mix sweet and bitter together. Yeah. Because for some weird reason, sweet and bitter just does not work for the sandwiches from what I've heard. Never actually tried it, but oh well. So, yeah. Gonna make sure that you save before you make your sandwich and make sure that auto save is off. Go to options, you can check it there. I always have auto save off for shiny hunting and whatnot. So now that you've made sure all that is in place, just set up a little picnic right in front of the area zero entrance. It's just faster if you have it right at the entrance. And then you make a sandwich. Now for this, you're going to want to go into creative. And there's kind of like a base set of ingredients here. There's all three of the bell peppers, green, red, and yellow. One of these, I cannot remember the name of it. And you'll see that you have those two little slots left for ingredients. Or at least for like ones that don't go directly onto the bread, like the peanut butter and jelly and whatnot. Um, you need to fill those things. And depending on what you fill them with will actually change what kind of sparkling, title and encounter power stuff that you will get. Slitherwing is part fighting. So what we're going to want to do is have two herb sausages. And then, of course, you're going to have to go all the way down. Get the herb mystica. And you don't need to fill in anything else. You're just good there. And when it comes to whichever pick that you choose, it does not matter. Just pick any of them and you'll be good. Make sure that all of your ingredients stay on the sandwich. Because if you don't, your sandwich will just not work. I'll be back when I'm done with this. Okay, so I am back after making that sandwich. Now, pay attention to this part here. You want to make sure that it says sparkling power and encounter power. Title power, that's just kind of an optional thing for if you want to get your Pokemon with marks. And as you can see over here, they are all level 3. That's like the maximum power level that you can get. So now what you want to do after you've made your sandwich is exit out of the picnic. Go over here. And... See the entrance to Area Zero? Ignore it. Instead, go over to the side of Area Zero and just go down like this. Your screen will fade to white, as you can see here. And then... Bam! You're in this particular part of Area Zero right off the bat. So if you go over you'll see Metacham and Slitherwing spawn. For the Metacham, Metatites, just send out your Pokemon on Let's Go and just have them defeat the Metacham and Metatites. 
the more of those you defeat, the more Slitherwings that are able to spawn. As you can see here, they are just popping up. Because the Menacham and Menatites are actually taking up spawn spaces for the Slitherwings. So the more of those you defeat, the more Slitherwings will spawn. And it'll eventually get to the point where as soon as you defeat a Slitherwing, another Slitherwing will just appear in its place. Now please be warned that you will find Slitherwings spawning in the wall. To see if they're in the wall, just go up to the wall, press the R like lock on, and just move your camera. Of course, in the current position, you can't really see it. But yeah. Defeat one Slitherwing, and then another one will just pop up in its place somewhere. It's actually really cool. Keep doing this until you find your shiny. Now you can press right on the D-pad, and you can see how much, um, basically how much longer your sandwich will last. If you don't find anything, and before your sandwich runs out, just exit out of the game. And just make the sandwich again, pop that down, and just keep trying. It's actually very simple. This is called the isolation method, where basically you have... Basically look for one kind of sandwich power for a very particular type, where only one Pokemon that has that typing can spawn in. Because if we used a bug encounter power, for example, then... Venomoth, Frostmoth, Pokemon like that will be taking out spaces for Slitherwing instead. Meanwhile, if you choose Fighting, only Slitherwing and Medichan will appear. So yeah, that is pretty cool. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Bye.